Welcome back to Echo Base Network, guys. I'm your host, Nick, and today I'm going to be covering some audio of Steven Spielberg talking uh, about Kathleen Kennedy and then some audio kind of backing up what he said uh, with uh, John Favreau. Uh, a lot of people have, have seen this or, or heard this before, uh, but a lot of people haven't, uh, so I figured I'd make a video on it. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So this is an interview that Steven Spielberg did talking about Kathleen Kennedy. She made her way to Los Angeles and landed a job as a secretary for notorious screenwriter John Milius. At the time, Milius was executive producing Steven Spielberg's movie, 1941. Spielberg says he was so impressed with her organizing skills that he asked her to be his secretary. So she's she's a good organizer. All right, we got that. <sighs> I remember Kathy came into the room with her steno pad and her pencil, and she was horrible at taking notes, and she was terrible, and she didn't really know how to do it very well. But what she did know how to do was interrupt somebody in mid-sentence. We'd be pitching ideas back and forth, and Kathy, who's supposed to be writing these ideas down, suddenly put her pencil down and would say something like, and what if he didn't get the girl, but instead he got the dog? How about he didn't get the girl, but instead he got the dog? This is why... People like her shouldn't be creatives uh, because nobody would go for that. And that's why Star Wars sucks right now, uh, because she thinks she's a creative and she, because she's done all this work for all these great creators in the past that she's wanting to try to create something of her own now uh, and have it be better. And it's actually just worse. Uh, she, in my opinion, she needs to learn to get out of the way of the people that know what they're doing. Uh, so I've, I've found that pretty funny that Steven Spielberg actually talked about how she was good at interrupting and kind of injecting her ideas in there. And you can kind of see this with modern Disney star Wars all over the place. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look, listen to another clip here. Let's talk about George yeah. and all of, because I don't think people understand. Let's just the rattle impact. off all the yeah. breakthroughs. Jeez. that he had. Well, Starting, I'll start by saying, in. We'll when go I around. came we'll, in, this is like a party game. No, we'll go I around, came, everybody say one. When I came into the company, I was astounded to find out that there were over a hundred. So he's mid sentence talking. And then she just is like, she injects herself, interrupts. Uh, I'll start by saying, he's like, uh, I'm the one leading this conversation here, you know, and we'll, we'll go around the room. And he pointed towards uh, Filoni. Uh, if you go actually watch the clip on on uh, from Disney Gallery season one episode two, I put this timestamp in there eight thirty seven timestamp mark. He points to Filoni and says, "You know, we'll go around the room." And she's like, "Last," you know, and she's like, "Ah, I'm going first, you know." So, anyways, I I found these clips to be funny, especially the one with uh, Steven Spielberg talking about how she liked to interrupt a lot and. <clears throat> sound like she liked to inject her own ideas in there. Uh, just another reason why this woman should not be in charge of Star Wars or in charge of Lucasfilm uh, whatsoever. Uh, give her another job where she has no direct control or input on anything creative uh, and let her go do her own thing. But rumor has it she's going to be gone after Indy 5. Eh, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Uh, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section below. Uh, and do you think she's going to be gone after Indy 5? Uh, her, I believe her contract is up next year. I wouldn't be surprised if she went all the way to the end of her contract. And if she's got a lot of projects and she wants to stay, I wouldn't be surprised if they extended her contract again. Uh like I've always said, uh, I, I'm just waiting for the wh whole thing to burn itself to the ground uh, and then sell it off to somebody else and put somebody else in charge of Star Wars because the people in charge of Star Wars right now just aren't doing it for me personally. If, if, if it's doing it for you, great, wonderful. I have nothing against that, but for me... No, she needs to go. Uh, but anyways, like I said, uh, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. As Coach always says, we are, you are, Echo Base Network. Until the next one, guys, we'll see y'all later.